What's going on everybody? Happy Saturday. I got my days right in this video. It's amazing. I told you everything's blended in this week. So I've got a couple emails and a couple PMs on to some stuff going on. And it's always interesting because I've been preaching this stuff for years. Some people just recently started uh, preaching it. They're talking, you'll see videos and posts that PSA 9s are garbage, they're junk. Um, all the mo uh, ultra-modern junk. Well, here's the thing that I got to say. I partly agree, and I partly disagree there. As you put out information, as in, I'm using quotation marks. Here we go. Open end, closed end. Uh, as an influencer, because I guess that's what everybody likes to be, a social media influencer now. But... You have to really sit back and think about stuff. And anybody out there does videos and stuff, before you do anything, think about it from all aspects. Because when you say all PSA 9 ultra modern modern cards are junk and garbage, you're wrong. Because not all are. I know, I know. Base, overpopulated, got it. All this stuff, it went from hobby to uh, retail in a 10,000 unicorn parallel colors. Got it. Agree with that completely. Now, this is what I want you to think about. PSA 9. Oh, do I got anything here? I don't know if I got any 9s in here. Yep, right there. So you're telling me that this is garbage. To the guys out there saying all PSA 9, ultra modern, are garbage. First edition, Jersted, blue foil out of 150. This is garbage, right? No, it's not. Nines are not garbage. Don't have that beat in your head. When you're talking thick stock cards, autographs, and serial number cards, those three things there are not supposed to be. I don't know about autographs anymore, the base ones, but those are not high populated. Got it. There's 50 different colors and shimmers and lavas and freaking mojo, whatever color sphere thing out there. It's still serial numbered. NT. We'll talk NT. iMac. Flawless. No War. Dynasty, Top Sterling, Top Luminaries. I don't think I need to keep going on. That stuff's expensive to begin with, and it's serial numbered. There's a print count to it, so getting a nine on one of those is not a bad thing. So please um, don't think nines are bad and get that in your head. To grade a ten on a thick stock card, phenomenal. Um, gold standard. You get a 10 on that, that's like black labeling at Beckett. Gold standard by far with the flaking and everything else on that stuff, very hard to grade. Um, to me, this is my thoughts and opinion again. An 8 is like getting a PSA 9. A 9 is like getting a 10. A 10 is like getting a Beckett black label by PSA. Um, just... Before people say stuff like that, think about how you're wording your stuff out there. Because when I hear it and I get emails to watch this or read this, I look at it and I'm like, they're covering a small little aspect out there. And they either are just going with the coolest topic out there currently going on to get views. And they're riding the gravy train. I don't like doing that. I like to think through the process. Usually before I talk about this stuff in videos, I've already talked to like probably the minimum of two people, max five or more. I probably even say more than five sometimes because I like to see other people's opinions or something that I've missed before I come out and say something because I might miss it. And there's been times you guys have schooled me in the comments. And I'm like, you know what, I never thought about that. Or I forgot to add that to my video because I'm scratching out notes and stuff with a black marker and it 
I thought I already talked about it because part of the black marker leaked over. Um, just know that not all PSA 9s are junk. Even when you start hitting modern cards, which now are like 2018 back, we're going to go modern as in like 2013, maybe 14 and back. Um, a lot of that stuff, 9s, is not bad. I mean... You're talking about Michael Jordan autographs at nines. Oh, no. That's garbage? No. <laughs> I mean, even currently, let's go with a Luca auto at nine. Garbage? I mean, there we go on to it all. Hank Aaron um, just recently passed away. He had autos out there. What happens when his stuff comes back at nine? You know, I think I got my point across onto that piece there. Um, hopefully I've answered the questions, uh, pretty good. Cause I said I was going to do a video on this for everybody to PM me or sent me an email. I don't agree with that. Totally. I agree with it. Partly you have to look at population counts. And when you start dealing with serial number cards, I'm going to use this one very loosely SP and SSP cards, because if they're put into retail heavily, then we start losing that S in front of it. <laughs> type deal um just take a look at pop counts if it's a nine and there's not a whole lot of tens and there's you know from 10 to 9 there's like three four times as much but the number is still kind of low and it makes sense hey pick it up if it's for pc pick it up there's nothing wrong with it but when you start looking at base cards Heck, even Silver Prism's nines, you know, I'm just like, wow. You know, all this stuff, it's heavily populated out there. Then I can agree that, yes, those are going to be considered down the road one day, one time, in some error, as in junk cards and stuff like that, until we end up doubling the size of the hobby collectors out there again, and supply and demand gets... You know, to where supply is less, demand is more type deal. Again, like we hit uh, during the pandemic of COVID. But that's pretty much it with this video. I really wanted to touch on to this uh, because I don't want people to get steered wrong out there. Again, you could use your own thought process on it. If you don't agree with me, it's fine. Just don't buy the PSA 9s out there at all. But to me, again, when you're talking serial number cards from a hobby-only product, especially a thick stock card, I have no issues with it. As far as the bases and the you know the high pop counts, that stuff, I do agree to with it to an extent, as I said. But all right, guys, let me know what you think about PSA nines in the comment section. Do you think that all the ultra modern and even dip it a little bit modern because some of that stuff's starting to get high count too? Would you consider it all garbage or do you kind of agree with what I'm saying here? Uh, again, a lot of these videos here that I'm going to be doing here now are going to be a lot of my opinions on this stuff. It's nothing really fact, it's just how I view it for myself. And I won't let uh, a serial number PSA 9, you know, go down or <laughs> in value with at a show where somebody's like, oh, it's a 9. Well, last 9 sold for $200, and they're trying to get it for 60%, and they're telling me 9s are garbage. <laughs> I just laugh because that's the inexperience of the person at my table at that time frame making that statement. And it just shows, you know, where knowledge is going away. And I know somebody said this, and I, I, I'm trying to think of a better way of putting it, but don't always follow what you hear out there, regardless of them being an influencer on social media or whatever out there. Take the information come out with your own conclusion onto it, but look at a bigger aspect. Because like I said, people are just out there getting this little piece and they're not looking at the whole big picture out there of what's going on. And that's where a lot of key mistakes can be made at. All right, guys, take care of a good rest of the weekend. Catch y'all in overtime next week.